2020 election is less than two years away, and the list of candidates ready to take on Donald Trump grows longer every day as Democrats across the country launch their presidential campaigns. So far, a dozen lawmakers have officially thrown their hats into the ring for the Democratic Party's nomination. There are at least 10 more Democrats who have not yet announced 2020 bids, but are considered possible candidates, like Joe Biden, Beto O'Rourke and Stacey Abrams. The 2020 Democratic field is already the most ethnically and racially diverse in history and has a record-breaking number of female candidates vying for a shot at the White House. But even with dozens of Democrats knocking on the door, Trump has remained confident he will be elected to a second term. During his CPAC speech earlier this month, the president promised the crowd a re-election victory. We're going to do it again in 2020, and the numbers, I think, are going to be even bigger," Trump said. Here's a full, updated list of Democrats aiming to take down Trump in 2020. Announced. Cory Booker, the New Jersey senator and former Newark mayor, has made a name for himself in Congress for his oratory skills and criminal justice reform efforts. He has also signed on as a co-sponsor on progressive legislation like Medicare for All and the Green New Deal. But Booker has been criticized for being too cozy with Wall Street after he was the top recipient of corporate money in the 2014 election cycle. Julian Castro, the 44-year-old lawmaker, is the first Texas Democrat to announce a bid for president in more than four decades. The former San Antonio mayor served in the Obama administration as the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and was in the running to be Hillary Clinton's vice president in 2016. Key issues for Castro include immigration reform, Medicare for all and universal pre-kindergarten. John Delaney Delaney is a former House representative known for his ability to reach across the aisle. He was also the first Democrat to challenge Trump when he announced his candidacy in 2017. He supports ending gerrymandering, universal health care, artificial intelligence and a carbon tax. Tulsi Gabbard, the 37-year-old congresswoman from Hawaii, made headlines when she resigned as vice chair of the Democratic National Committee in 2016 to support Bernie Sanders. The Iraq War veterans' key issues include the Green New Deal, tuition-free college and a reduced military presence in the Middle East. But she's received criticism over her stance on LGBTQ rights. Kamala Harris, while Harris only joined the Senate in 2016, she's drawn nationwide attention for her harsh criticism of the Trump administration, especially when it comes to Trump's cabinet nominees and court appointments. The California senator has championed civil rights legislation and recently unveiled a tax plan aimed at benefiting the middle class. John DeCan Looper, the Colorado governor, announced his presidential bid in early March and is positioning himself as a moderate in a large field of progressive candidates. Before becoming a politician, DeCan Looper was a geologist who became rich when he opened a brewery in Denver. His key issues include gun control, the Green New Deal and marijuana legalization. Jay Inslee Inslee, the governor of Washington, is running for president on a climate change platform, arguing that defeating climate change should be our nation's no. One priority. He has called for Democrats to support green energy economic programs. Amy Klobuchar, the 58-year-old senator from Minnesota, stoked national attention last year during the confirmation hearing of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. In her 12 years serving in public office, she's focused on legislation to combat the nation's opioid crisis and lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Klobuchar has also drawn attention for successfully pushing for mandated sexual harassment training in the Senate. Bernie Sanders, the independent senator from Vermont, is taking another shot at the Democratic nomination after losing to Hillary Clinton in 2016. After Sanders announced bid in mid-February, his campaign raised nearly $6 million in just one day in small-dollar donations from across the country. 
but the self-described democratic socialist has found himself in hot water over reports of sexual misconduct within his 2016 campaign staff. Elizabeth Warren, the 69-year-old senator from Massachusetts, began her presidential bid at the end of December. As a former Harvard bankruptcy law professor, Warren has used her time in office to advocate for greater regulations on Wall Street and big businesses. But in recent months, she has drawn criticism for taking a DNA test to prove her Native American heritage, a stunt the indigenous community said undermined tribal interests. Marianne Williamson Williamson is one of the lesser-known candidates in the crowded Democratic field, having run for Congress back in 2014 and lost. Williamson is an author who has published more than a dozen self-help books, four of which have been on the New York Times bestseller list. The 66-year-old supports universal preschool and free college, DACA and reparations for slavery. Andrew Yang, the 44-year-old technology executive who founded Venture for America, announced his candidacy way back in November 2017. He is running on a platform of human-centered capitalism and one of his boldest proposals is a universal basic income of $1,000 per month for all Americans. Exploratory.Pete Buttigieg, the 37-year-old mayor of South Bend, Indiana, is one of the youngest candidates to launch a 2020 exploratory committee and is the first openly gay person to launch a bid for the presidency. The military veteran is running on a millennial platform, focusing on key issues like climate change and economic stability. He is a strong supporter of labor and union groups. Kirsten Gillibrand, the New York senator and close friend of the Clintons, announced her exploratory committee in January during an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. A champion of the Number Metu movement, Gillibrand has made a career in the Senate by cracking down on sexual assault in the military. But Gillibrand has found herself under scrutiny over her office's handling of a staff sexual misconduct report. Possible. Stacey Abrams, the Georgia lawmaker, is seen as a rising star in the Democratic Party after her failed bid for governor sparked a national debate about voter suppression. Abrams was tapped to give the Democratic rebuttal to Trump's State of the Union address, which earned praise from party leaders like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Joe Biden, the former vice president, is rumored to be announcing his candidacy any day now as he travels the country. While he hasn't announced anything yet, early polling already shows Biden would be an easy frontrunner in the Democratic primary and a serious challenger to Trump. The former Delaware senator was expected to run for president in 2016, but decided against it after the death of his son Beau. Beto O'Rourke O'Rourke, despite losing his Senate bid in the 2018 midterms to Republican Ted Cruz, is not ruling out of presidential run. The young Democrat became a national star for his battle with Cruz in Deep Red, Texas in a race he only lost by less than three percentage points. He has placed immigration, education and climate change at the center of his platform 